Okay, we're here with Cameron, Zach, and Lizzie Claire. First of all, congratulations on the victory. Um, why don't you start, uh, Cameron? Can I just kind of get a statement, opening statement on sort of the game, how you all prepared for it, um, how you thought it was executed, and ultimately uh, the victory to advance? Yeah, um, preparing, um, team was very excited to get that bid, and most of all, to be able to host. Um, it was really nice to come out, get a few early goals in the first half, go up, um, not panic about like going into overtime or time. So that was really nice. And and Lizzie, I kind of wanted to start uh, for you in the first half, getting involved right away off the bench with an assist and then a goal toward the end. Um, so what's it meant? I, this has kind of been like the perfect role for you coming in and being that spark plug, now leading the team in assists for the year. Um, what was the mentality for you and sort of the rest of the players off the bench to try to kind of keep that momentum going? Yeah, well, it's actually kind of funny because we all went in at like, went to sub in at like 15 minutes left and that ball just never went out. So we were like sitting there for a while. So like our nerves just kept building and building. And we're like, we're so ready. But Jay has always said like the people to come off the bench have to um, meet the level, if not raise it. So we were all just kind of hyped to get there and um, the starters do a great job. So we just wanted to follow lead. And this whole week at practice, um, we've been doing a good job of everyone evenly playing and challenging each other. So we were really ready to go in there. Uh, back to you, Cameron. How you kind of mentioned the early goal uh, that was, I think, in the 13th minute. Uh, but what is that like for you all as a defensive unit to, to see that goal go up? And then, um, obviously, you know, John Nell's behind you, but already having that goal advantage, what does that do for your all's defensive unit? It lets us relax. Obviously, we're still trying to get that shut out, trying to prevent any shots, but it takes a little bit of pressure off of us. Um, and looking at the stats, knowing that we had 18 shots to five shots, that's a big deal. Um, John L had some saves, but yeah, it was nice to shut them out for at least the majority of the game. And uh, and Lizzie, for, for you and for the rest of the kind of what I would you know, talk about the offense, forwards and, and attacking midfielders, players like that, getting three on the board, that's obviously a really nice number to have, especially in the first half. Um, after you know getting shut out against Swanee, kind of turning it around a week later, scoring three goals. What was the mentality like for you all as a, as an attacking group? Yeah, so um, the past few weeks of practice, we've really been working on um, finishing and just kind of getting that in because that's one of been our weak spot this year is the forwards really scoring. Um, so we just had the mentality that we got to be the first one to score, first of all, to set the mentality of the game. And then I think we just kind of built the momentum going up from there. Um, and it was really exciting to get in um, and really beat their defenders and get some nice crosses off, which we haven't seen in the past few games. All right, what's the, what's the mentality now? I know you guys still have to await your opponent. Um, one could be familiar with Emory this year, and then, of course, the Wittenberg not having played them this season. So what's the mentality like as you watch this next game and prepare for the next 24 hours? Um, I think just going in tomorrow, obviously coming off of a win 3-1, to one, getting a few goals, that's um, giving us like that positive attitude. And whether we play Emory or Wittenberg, um, I know we'll be prepared. We'll be watching this game to take some notes, see what, if they have some star players looking out for them. Um, but I think just overall that the chemistry is there, the attitude's there, and now it's just that recovery moment to get ready for tomorrow. All right, thanks, y'all.